This is Dynasty Portfolio Weekly, hosted by Scott Connor. Welcome back onto the trading floor, everybody. Dynasty Portfolio Weekly is back for a special Week 17 edition. Hopefully, everybody made their fantasy championships or you're playing for something meaningful, a toilet bowl, a compensation pick, something. But if you are, good luck this week. And if you're not, this episode is going to be for you. We know in Dynasty, the season never stops. And today we are going to talk about the three steps you need to take before the end of this week. It is time sensitive. For week 17, it is typically the last week where people can add players off waivers. It is the last week of first come, first serve. And in a lot of leagues, there is nothing that happens until the rookie draft. No more waivers. You have to cut players off your roster. You have to activate players off your injured reserve. You have to promote players from your taxi, et cetera. Hopefully, training is open in your leagues after week 17 right away. Uh, and maybe it's still open now where you can make some last-minute deals to kind of help you get into this direction. But today, we are going to talk about the three things you need to do before this week. Check out everything over at DestinationDevi.com. Sign up for the Patreon at Patreon.com backslash all gas. You book, get access to all the tools on the website if you go through there. Uh, and you get access to the Discord if you sign up at either the Patreon or the website. Check out the roster construction series that I did on Destination Devi Radio. The last six shows of Destination Dynasty. So the last six Mondays on the podcast feed, subscribe to that. And you can look through or listen to the roster construction series that I talked about. And I just dropped the show this past week talking about any quarterback on a two deep. I went through every possible quarterback you could stash in Dynasty. Talked about over 80 quarterbacks on that episode. So that will kind of be a lead in to this video if you are watching that. So check that out. Subscribe to the feed. Also subscribe to the channel. Like, send any comments or reviews. And then the Wake Up With Ray G feed is a podcast feed as well where there's additional content from the DD team and the Trades in 5 team on there. So let's get into it. The three things you need to do before week 17 is over. Number one, roster construct. Optimal roster construction. What does that look like? How do I get there? So aside from the roster construction series, which talked about a specific format, a 12-team, start 11, 30-man rosters, 1.75 tight end premium, go to DestinationDevy.com. If you have access to the war tool, plug in your league, look at the three-year average war, and roster construct around that. It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be a roadmap to say this is exactly what to do, but it gives you an idea of relative position value. It gives you an idea of how many I want to hold at each position. And then you also have to use some information about your league market, your league economy. Is it easier for me to maybe forego a couple extra receivers because the war line says this compared to the tight ends? And I also know it's a league where I can probably trade for receivers easier than I can running backs, whatever it might be. Number one is go in with some vision of how you want to roster construct. What is your optimal construction? Just ask yourself the question. Go through the exercise. Even if you arrive at a different answer than I might, thinking about it versus just willy-nilly, hey, I have a bunch of players on my team and they're there, going through it and having a target, having something you're striving for. Are you going to get there by the end of this week? No. In a lot of leagues, it's impossible. If there's other people that are thinking about roster construction, you're going to notice that the waiver wire in your league might be even harder to mine. But you want to have a vision. This is generally what I want my team to look like from a construction standpoint. And I'm talking about how many roster spots relative to how many starters and how many positions or how many players at each position do I want to carry. Forget about the names. Don't even care about the names. I could care less about the names in December or in January. But generally, what do I want the construction to look like? So that's number one. Map it out. Write it down on a piece of paper. Go through. I've seen people have sent me their spreadsheets before where they will list all of their leagues and then they will list their construction and they just put it on tabs. Quarterback, running back, receiver, tight end. And they put it on what they think the optimal is versus what they're carrying. And then they color code them. 
And you can clearly see where maybe you have some efficiencies or inefficiencies on your team. So that's number one, understand or have a plan for your roster construction. Number two, planning or purpose. And I'll say purpose, and maybe I'll use the word point, but the theme is purpose, point, plan. Have a purpose or a point for every player on your team. So once you've gone through and said, this is what I want my roster construction to look like. Hey, I want this many threshold receivers. I want this many quarterbacks that could be on a two deep. I want this many running backs that could be on a 53 man roster. Then go through each player individually and say, what spot do they fit in? What spot does Brandon Johnson fit in? Well, he probably doesn't fit into one. So why do I have him? Well, I only was carrying him because, you know, I just picked him up randomly because there wasn't anybody else to pick up. Okay. Cut him. Is there anybody else to pick up? And even if you cut him, oh, well, you have an open roster spot. As soon as there is something else to fill that spot with, fine. But you've already identified through what you think your optimal roster construction to be. He doesn't have a point on the team. So unless you can tell yourself of what the plan could be, and we'll get to plan here in a second, if there is no purpose or there is no point to having a player, get rid of them. Now, if that means before I cut them, I try to trade them, I try to trade them for a fourth, talked about that before as well, but what is the purpose or what is the point of the player? Identify it. And if you see a reason, if you see a purpose of having Samaj P. Ryan on your team, hey, he could be any running back on a 53. Okay, move past him. You don't have to do anything right now. But it's the players where you go, well, I don't really know the point of having that player. Because I'll ask people that when I'm doing roster reviews where I'm doing did it calls with people. Why do you have them? I don't really know. I just picked them up. Okay, but if you can't identify the point or the purpose of having the player, you shouldn't have the player. So that's number two. Number three, the plan. So now that you've identified why you have a player, what's the plan? And let's call it for the next 12 months. Maybe we even go shorter, the next six months. What is the six to 12 month plan with that player? Maybe it's a player you go, well, I don't want to cut. They don't really have a spot yet, but I'm planning on moving them when this happens. Or I'm planning on doing X when something happens down the road. And so once you have those plans in place, write them down or keep them in the back of your mind. Because when it comes time to execute the plan, let's say whatever you forecasted was going to happen, looks like it's going to happen or does happen. Be able to go on the fly, execute the plan that you already put in place. What you don't want to do is go, well, I had a plan to trade this player right before the draft. And then you're getting there close to the draft and you go, I really don't want to trade that player. What if the plan I thought doesn't actually work? Now I'm having cold feet. I was going to wait till that player signed in free agency. Hey, he signed in free agency. I don't know if I want to move him. I really don't. So always assess your plans, right? But don't forgo having a plan and definitely don't not execute the plan when it gets here. So that's number three is once you've identified your roster construction, then identified the purpose of each player. What is then the plan and what do you have to do whenever that's ready to go? Is it March? Is it June? Is it when the season starts? Is it right before the season? But stick with the plan. Be able to identify the plan and go right back to it and say, yep, my plan was to flip that player for a second. Go do it. More often than not, when we second guess ourselves, we end up with just inactivity or we're always a step behind the market. So those are the three. Understanding your optimal roster construction or at least thinking about it, what it should look like. Number two, what is the purpose or point of having the player on my team? And then number three, what is the plan for the player? Am I ready to pull the trigger on the plan when it's ready to go? So with those three things, you will have your team prepped as much as it can be going into the offseason, going into roster cutdowns, taxi promotions, free agency, combine, pre-NFL draft, post-NFL draft, post-rookie draft, when waivers run, all of these points are things that can change the value landscape. They can change the market. And you want to be set up to go, you know what? Let's go. It's time to go. What I don't want to have to do is go clean up my whole roster in June. Ah, hey, man, I just haven't really been back to the league for six months. Those managers are typically going to be the ones 
playing from behind. So with that, good luck to everybody in week 17. Again, check out destinationdevy.com. Join there. You can get access to all the tools, which will help you with the roster construction part. And then, of course, access to the Discord. Oh, and finally, if you are interested in a one-on-one session going through your roster construction, your war, and essentially doing this exercise with myself looking at your team, looking through all the tools on my screen while we're on a call, download the Did It app, D-I-D-I-T. Uh, check it out. It's on iTunes or on a- iOS devices. So you got to have an Apple or an iPhone uh, device to, to use it, but download did it D I D I T message me. And we will set up a free time to literally go through and look at your individual league. I'll run the war for you. I'll walk you through what I think the optimal roster construction. And then we'll also look at what can you do over the next couple weeks before everything turns over to the end of the year. Cause there is a little time in some leagues to do that. But once it's too late, once everything is parked for the off season, you probably have to wait a little while before you can actually get stuff done. So if you want to do that, sign up for a free call, D I D I T just message me and say, I'm interested in a did it consult. Uh, and we'll set that up. Your first call is free. So you get an unlimited amount of time to go over it. So as long as you need to spend, you get a free call with me uh, and we'll set that up. So with that, I will go ahead and sign off again. Good luck to everybody playing for something in week 17. This will be the last episode of the year. Hopefully you've enjoyed Dynasty Portfolio Weekly. There's a lot of great stuff coming from Destination Devi here in the next couple months. And I'm wishing everybody that's listened or followed or supported me a happy new year and best of luck in your championships this week. Beach